Hello and welcome to All About the Boys. I'm Nathan. I'm Lee. Hey, they seem like a nice bunch of boys. They were lovely. Weren't they? They were lovely. They yeah. were lovely, lovely chaps. Lovely chap. tune that was. I don't know, I've met them before. But. <laughs> and they were demonstrating very nicely. <gasps> that nice boy at the front was demonstrating very nicely. Look. <laughs> what's this? What's <gasps> this? This is Fender American Ultra. Oh, that sounds uh, very special. Yeah, we're not we're not players anymore. No, we're not pro professionals anymore. No, <laughs> never were. We're, we're not. No, we're not. we're not elite. We're not elite. We're definitely not elite anymore. That's what I'm trying to get to. So yeah, this is replacing the elite range of right. the American American range. Okay. Um, uh, American uh, Fender range. So you'll see the guitar video is already out. So you see the tellies and the guitars with Lee and Pete. Um, they're very, very impressed with those, those bits. Okay. We've just got ours in on the bases to have a look at. And there's three here in the range, is that right? There is, yeah. So we don't have a five string in the P bass, okay. um, but uh, you've got four string P, four so string jazz. I don't think they do anymore. Not at the moment. Not okay. A five, not a five string okay. uh, ultra. They might do a professional. Right. So I think the, the, the range down, which is still American made, you can get a five string bass. But yeah, at the moment, as far as I know, yeah, it's just a four string in this. Okay. Uh, with a PJ configuration, and you've got a five string jazz bass. Very nice. I like, I like the fact they've done the PJ, that's good. Yeah, this, well, this is it, yeah. So you've still got that, um, the capability of using the bridge pickup if you want to, but you've still got that, yeah, classic Lovely. P bass sound. And, uh, and what, so what's changed then? Right, so it's probably worth having a little closer look. So, um, aside from these gorgeous new colours, <laughs> Yeah, Obviously, there's a few bits that they just change the colour. But this colour, I don't know if you'll pick it up, but this is what Pete had with the telly the other day with this royalty. It's very subtle. It's very subtle. It's got like a sort of metallic sparkle. So, there, yeah, from there it probably looks black, guys, but it is. It's like browny, greeny sparkle. Ooh. That is very nice. Anyway, what, what do they the colour? call that? Uh, Texas tea. Texas tea, not royalty. Thank you, mate. Yeah, Texas tea. Um, when this one's bought in the lovely gold anodised pit guard. Yeah. Um, right, so the main thing to talk about is all the necks. The necks on this is, is where it's really changed. Um, okay. you've so got, they haven't just changed the name, they have actually really changed some specs up on the bases, yeah? Definitely, yep. So you had the uh, the Generation 3 or the 4s in Last Elite of the Noises pickups. So Generation 4 Noises. These are still Noises pickups, but these are the Ultra Noises. So they are now into, they have revoiced the pickups for this range. Okay. Um, and the guitar range as well. So, um, yeah, you should, find something that we're newer there. It's interesting to see what's going to come out with these because the, the elites were obviously lovely bases, lovely bases, but um, it's just finding that place for them, I think, like where it gets to that modern base when you're coming out of a Fender. Yeah. Something with a big preamp and you know all these gizmos on it. Oh, um, okay, so these are active? All active, sorry, mate. Yep, with 18-volt right. preamps. Okay. Ding, 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 That's ding. That's very exciting. Double bubble. So, um, so yeah, while I was talking about it, actually, let's go through it. So, yeah, you've got... Active, okay. active passive switching. Right, so you can just have a nice regular jazz bass sound. Yep, absolutely mate. You can take all, all that sort of the electronics or anything you need. Okay. And have it on passive mode or boost it in with this 18 volt preamp. Right. So you've got volume neck, sort of uh, neck to bridge pickup balancer. Okay. You have treble and bass, and then you have mid range on the top and your passive tone. Oh, mm. uh, I see passive, right, gotcha. Which, yeah, yeah, it's, it's a few other, Companies do it differently, but yeah, they've got actually a, a passive tone just for that passive section. Okay. Um, as I said, new newly voiced pickups on both the P and the J, uh, and the, sorry, the P and the J, the J and the P, whatever. Um, but they're all revoiced for this particular range. So um, we have then the next, as I was saying. Oh yeah. Yes. So we have um, a slightly different profile. So we've got a D profile neck um, on, on on these bases. Um, and instead of having a compound radius uh, neck profile as, as well, like the Elites had, which was going like sort of slimmer to uh, sort of curved to flatter up here, still got that, but just with the fretboard. Right. So you keep more of a same, same size of neck and shape all the way up, which I'm feeling really comfy actually, instead of that changing with the fretboard as well. Okay. So the fretboard will go from 10 to uh, 14 inch compound radius. So going from 10 inch to here, 14 inch here. This is very technical. Well, just makes, yeah, so you get flatter as you get up, basically. Flatter, I get flatter as <laughs> No, I don't. Stay with us, it's all right. Oh my God, sorry. Don't put that in. Oh yeah, keep that in. Last video, everyone. No, sorry. It'll sorry. wake them up after you've 
Yeah. Boring tech talk about <laughs> boy, the, compound the radiuses. Radiuses. Also, did you say we've got um, a more of a, oh, a cutaway as well? A little bit more of a scoop. Yeah, now actually it's in the back here. Um, and you'll see, I think you've seen the light there as well, guys. So you've got just I've around... Seen the light. Seen the light. You've got a little bit more of a cutout round here. Oh, yes. And then right into mean, the right. heel. Ooh. Yeah. So you can actually play up the... The right. dusty end really right, quite right, comfortably. Right, right. Nice. Um, and yeah, so on the side on you can see where they've kind of shallowed it out a little bit that way as well. So from the from the neck joint. Well, very nice too. Uh, it's, a, it's, it's a nice feel. I did have a little play earlier, and they, the next feel with me. It's like a satin finish. Yeah, this is yeah, it's a new finish that they've done for these as well. Um, but it's interesting. It's kind of a, a darker. Oh man, it's, this is like a darker sort of. Yeah, they've, so they're trying to make like the, a little bit more of that aged look right, to it. Right. Okay. Um, so yeah, you find tinted necks now on all of them instead of it being a little bit of a, like normal new bright maple oh. look. Which yeah, yeah, it's a good little touch. All right, well, um, listen, I, I think we should show people what it sounds like then, yeah. eh? Yeah! Let's get about some good old-fashioned knob that. twiddling. Knob twiddling. Should mention big, chunky, high-mass fender bridge. Ooh, yeah. Oh, aye. Uh, lightweight tuners as well. Keep it nice and balanced. You've got five, five neck bolts. Five! You know, of course. Marvellous, marvellous. Okay, okay. Like said, so we've got volume there. Volume on, uh, we've got, that is... Pick up balance. Absolutely. Uh, treble and bass. Yep. Mid, and that's like a set frequency when it's inactive. That's it. And then a passive tone. Absolutely. Okay, all right. Let's start off uh, in passive mode then. Cool. Passive mode, back pickup, back of course. Back pickup. Uh, uh, tone no. off. Tone off. Uh, Mr. Music, will you please play your bass guitar? I'll try. Okay. <laughs> What you got a lot of tones in there. There's a little bit, yeah, they're very, very clear. Very, that, very clear. That preamp is uh, that's really doing some stuff too. I mean, I couldn't actually, I was too scared to turn it all the way up. Oh, that. fair enough. Yeah, uh, yeah. But uh, you know, I mean, all, oh, well, all the way with the EQ and stuff. But um, it, yeah, yeah. It, there's some serious cut and boosting going on there. Yeah, absolutely, mate. And very, uh, very not sort of musical as well. Yeah, yeah, it sounds, and, and actually, the, uh, just that clarity straight away. I think more than the elite. I don't know. We don't have one with us. But yeah, um, just I, I can hear a, a, like a, a clar clarity to it that I don't know if the uh, the elite's got. But yeah. Uh, but for me, it's purely. I, I just this, this is such a comfortable neck. It really, really feels good to me. Yeah. Um, well, it sounds great. Yeah. No, it's getting there, man. That's right. Very nice. Beautiful. Right. Should we have nice. a look at the P. I think uh, we probably should. Why not? Do you want to play? Do you want yeah. To play go on then. Oh, there we go. Oh, okay, so preamp works the same way. Preamp exactly the same. Yeah. Um, that little active passive switch in a slightly different place, but that's. Uh, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Just, you've just got a bit longer of a thing on this. Different cool. control plate, I guess, and then, yeah. Mm. Can, yeah, a bit more space on that one, but. Okey dokey. Okey dokey. 
Should we have a little listen then? Yeah, let me come over. Oh, where, where are you going? Oh, where, where, are you where, going? Are, where are my guys? <laughs> right. We're going to go passive. Yep. Front pickup. Are we? We are. Are we starting front? So. I'm going to start front. It's radical. Radical. <laughs> All right then. Passive. Tone off. Here we go. I stepped on my lead. Crikey! I tell you what, that's got some good sounds, isn't it? Again, yeah, it's loads, loads and loads and loads. And uh, I, you know, we say this before as well. Like with obviously the sire preamps and these, where they've got a little bit more to play with. But um, it's more than just an on-off thing, isn't it? Say, so there's so many variations there with balancing, yeah. like a little bit of travel off, but a bit more mid-range. Or uh, and I'm liking this there's... combination of the because I like the I like the the the, the split single uh, of the yeah. P. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. It's got a, just a, it's a different sound. To the jazz, it, you know what I mean? It's, yeah. It's a bit more sort of rock and roll. It can get close. It can get close to the jazz, but you, you still can't get it exactly bang on without doing that. I yeah. think. I, think. So. I like it. What do you think, Matt? And say, you've got new Nick Nick finishing. New Nick Nick Nick. It's really nice. I love it. Yeah, that's great. That satin feel is uh, is right up my strasser. So. Uh, is that pretty thin as well for a P bass as well? I think it's the same sort of. It's pretty good. Sort of neck. It's pretty good. Very. It's well. It's yeah. It's very playable. Yeah. Lovely. So there you go. Well, American so they, Ultras. Yeah. Rather top. nice. Look, they've got a beautiful blue. Top Look at this. Top. Look at that. Oh, then it's some gorgeous colours. Yeah, that is pretty, isn't it? Oh, That's nice, isn't it? Uh, off white. Off-white scratch plate. Yeah, there's and some there's gorgeous the, colours. And that five. Look, that's a very pretty colour too. That is, yeah, hold that is one up. Mocha, wasn't it? Yeah. Mocha burst. That's lovely. That's cool, man. man, isn't it? They've all got a little bit of sparkle to them. Say, so, you're looking at the top of the top of the American. American factory. Really? And no, did we go through the? Did you shop. go through the prices? Prices we did. We all around eighteen hundred. Check out the website. Okay. Because it might, might be up and down. But um, at the moment, so November twenty nineteen, eighteen hundred for a four string. Right. P or J, yeah. and another eighty pounds more for a five string for the jazz. Wow, that's not a lot more, is that's it? That's where we are. So yeah, you're looking at about sort of eighteen eighty for that, and eighteen hundred for these. So. Fantastic. Well, there you go then. Uh, yeah. Fender American Ultra. Thanks, Fender. Yeah, nice one. Yeah. Uh, lovely basses. Loving it. I You've think done... definitely improvement on the Elite. Yeah. I think it's, there you go. It's there. It's there. You heard it here first, folks. Well, I mean anything, but. <laughs> <laughs> if you get the chance, listen, come into the store, check them out, and, uh, and see what you think. Too right. But in the meantime, I've been Nathan. I've been Lee. See you next time, folks. See you soon. Bye. Bye.